And the donor minister, Jitendra Singh, has reiterated a Prime Minister Narendra Modi's claims that there has been no discussion on nationwide NRC so far. Singh also said that the Citizenship Amendment Act is not against any Indian citizen and should not be confused with the NRC. Whenever NRC happens or does not happen, it has to go through a due process laid down by the Constitution of India. So I don't know why this fear and why this kind of a fear mongering happening, which has sought to create a fear psychosis. And then I would pointedly say that there is no correlation, no correlation at all between CAA and NRC. And first of all, we must dispel this impression. We should not try to link the two and then try to, try to denigrate CAA by using the name of NRC. So first, let's separate the two issues the two subjects and let's first discuss the CEA and try to address what I have, what I have they to say about CEA and we have the answer for that. So you are changing the goalposts. So let's concentrate on CEA as of now, which is at hand. NRC is not under discussion and therefore there is no point talking about it. Singh also alleged that certain forces are trying to instigate people by misleading them on Citizenship Amendment Act. There are misgivings, there are doubts. There is skepticism. This could be partly motivated, of course, by certain political vested interests. But to an extent, it could also be genuine in the, in the, to the extent that some innocent people could be affected by the kind of propaganda that has been unleashed. He also tried to allay fears of all over the Citizenship Amendment Act and said that there is no concept of excluding anybody in the long run as far as citizenship is concerned. As if a Muslim from outside is debarred from obtaining citizenship of India. It's not that at all. Under Section 6 of the Citizenship Act of 1955, there is a provision for any foreigner, including a foreign Muslim, to apply for the citizenship of India, provided he or she fulfills the criteria laid down. So I think there is no linkage between the citizenship criteria and the citizenship privilege available to any community from any part of the world 